Good morning, boys and girls. So today we are transplanting some lettuces and peas and things to the beds. And I thought I would belatedly <laughs> make a video about it. Let's walk by the chickens. I just fed them, but they still think there's more coming. And over here, we have the little peas. They're so beautiful. It's really exciting. Can't wait for them. They're gonna grow all over this, this chicken wire. It's gonna be awesome. So now, we come down here to where other stuff is. So, all the way in the back here, we have, uh, let's see if I can do this right. All the way in the back here, we have the Swiss chard, because they have a little uh, red in their sprouts. And here, we have the rest of the lettuce. So basically, the process is, before you dig them out, you got to make holes for them so the roots avoid the sun as much as they can. So they make little holes. You come over here, there's already a couple loose sprouts like this guy. There's a big tap root. And you take it, Let's see if I can, oh, the light's really bad. I'll do it in this one. You take it and put it in the hole and make sure the tap root has room. You kind of, and then you, oops, I often do this right. Yeah, you bury it like that. And you just compress around the stalk so you don't just strangle the little tap roots. And kind of fill in with more dirt as you compress or soil. The soil is a uh, a combination of whatever dirt was in here and then some potting soil we took from the higher beds where the water tank is. There, There's nothing growing in there and there's a bunch of um, pots with kind of soil just chilling so I bought them down here so I could use them. So then it goes go like that. So you kind of want to dig from underneath. You can use also a Recommended using a little rake too to, to loosen up some of these roots. Like that. So that way you don't compromise. See, look at that. That's a really long top root. It's really cool. And the process goes in. There's one more thing I sh wanted to show. It's really exciting. Remember those starter beds I filmed a few days ago? Check it out! They are sprouting. I'm not sure which bed is which. I'd have to go grab the book and find out. So, little sprouts. Some of them are growing. It's really impressive with this kind of really rough dirt. You know, the things would grow. Even this little guy has a sprout. You can see it. It's tree leaves. And the other thing with this one, this is interesting. This is the soil that I dig out with a pickaxe and sifted with gopher wire and it is a lot drier. It gets really dry. Um, I, wa I water each of these once a day, but this one just dries up really, really quickly. It's really interesting. I'm not sure why or how exactly. Maybe because of where the dirt soil came from in the driveway. See, it's, it's just super, super dried up and I just watered it like a couple hours ago. But anyway, exciting. So now, we've planted all the starters, and we are going to use that soil and put it in the bed and plant more seeds. We got some cabbage and some kale and chard. chard. So Susanna here is integrating the soil, the new soil, the stuff in the beds to make it happier for the plants. I made carrot troughs. For carrot troughs? Yeah, so I made these two scores. Okay. And I'm gonna sprinkle really loosely 
seed this, um, I believe it's a rainbow carrot. Oh, I love rainbow carrots. We actually, I think we have like a half a package of carrots in the in the tin. Cool. Not sure. Really? I think so. I thought we seeded it. It might have been just the Clover. package. Okay, this we need to seed with the poppies. Atomic red carrot. Shazam. Atomic bomb. Atomic bomb. So like I filmed before, sprinkle the seeds in your hand and then start at the back and kind of sprinkle along the bottom. Casting the seeds. And then one day with enough green, they will grow into beautiful atomic red carrots. And water. water Not enough rain for anything like this to go here. Unfortunately. Not this season. I don't know if you can tell, but these are pretty brown. And lots of trees in the property are in various stages of dying because of the lack of water, rain. Which we call <laughs> a drought. Uh, yes. <laughs> Otherwise known as a drought. <laughs> So you're going to water them, and yeah. Then when she's done, she'll cover up the seeds, and we will water them. <laughs> 